It is the warship which has been crucial this year in rescuing thousands of refugees and migrants. The Prime Minister chose Armistice Day to visit the staff on board HMS Bulwark and to praise Britain's response so far. You should be incredibly proud of the lives that you've saved. Well, we need a comprehensive approach, and Britain has played its full part in saving lives, including, you know, from this ship, and also in giving aid to Africa and trying to solve the problems in the countries from which people are coming. But now we need to do much more to smash the criminal gangs that are fueling this a terrible trade in people. Today, more than 50 European leaders met in Malta to try to solve the crisis. A trust fund worth 1.8 billion euros could be offered to African countries if they do more to help. Malta itself has already borne witness to the treacherous toll of the ongoing crisis. In April, it held the funerals for the victims lost in the Mediterranean's worst ever migrant disaster. More than 800 died, but only 24 bodies were recovered. Over the last two weeks, Five News followed the desperate journeys taken by desperate people, from the Greek island of Lesbos through to Austria and Germany. Leading aid charities hope this summit will lead to greater cooperation across the EU. We want to see countries of origin educating, raising awareness, supporting families so they know how risky this journey is. And as well as that, making sure there's real cross-border cooperation to make sure countries are working together so we don't see these continued images of children uh, being trapped at border crossings and being separated from their families. Mr Cameron is now in Malta for the two-day summit as Europe attempts to deal with the problem for which there seems no quick answers. Julian Drucker, Five News.